world <laughs> and welcome to the Mecca of Mastery TV. I am your host Mecca. If it is your mission to become the greatest version of yourself in every area of life, then you, my soul friend, are in the right place. I'm so excited about this video because in this episode we are speaking about personal and spiritual development. And the topic of this video is how to know if you are doing the wrong or right thing. Let's get straight into the video. Maybe this ain't going to be a long video. We're getting straight to the point, but I get it. A lot of people are in their lives and they're like, listen, maybe you are in a space in your life where you like, am I doing the right thing? Am I making the right move? Is this the right decision? Am I wrong? Is this wrong? Is this right? Is this wrong? Is this right? But before we drop this soul food, this weekly soul food that we drop every single Monday on you. Let's make sure you make it official if you are already not a family member here at Mecca Mastery TV and hit that subscribe button right now so you never miss any updates because I am dropping this weekly soul food, baby, like hot cakes, fire every Monday. All right, so look, maybe you're in a space in your life where there's things that is stressing you the hell out, right? You like, am I wrong? I have this relationship. I'm doing X, Y, Z. I don't want to be here, but I want to be here. Is this wrong or right? I want this certain thing. Is this wrong or right? I'm supposed to be eating this. Am I supposed to eat meat or am I not? Am I supposed to be vegan? Am I supposed to wear black or am I supposed to wear white? Am I supposed to wrap my hair? Do I wear dreads when I'm Caucasian or do I not wear dreads when I'm Caucasian, right? Oh my gosh, do I live here or do I not live here? Do I say this thing or do I not say this thing? Do I tell this person about this or do I not? right or wrong right or wrong right or wrong it's a quick video because there's a simple answer to this there's no such thing as things being right or wrong it's not as human beings what gets us messed up is that we label everything to be honest the tree is not a tree we labeled the tree as what it is it is what it is it's there flowers are not flowers we label them as flowers Okay, this is not a chair. It is something that I'm sitting on and we had to give it labels. We gave it labels for our human conditioning. But what has happened was we have allowed these things and these labels to actually penetrate us and control us. And we start to live by the labels, start to label ourselves, place ourselves up, up, up under a label and box ourselves in based on the label that we have set under ourselves. I'm going to say it again. We boxed ourselves in with a label. So if you box yourself in with a label and you give a label with certain energy, so the label, this is the label, and these are the things that's within the label, and then you attach yourself to the label, you attach yourself being in alignment with all of these things. So let's say when all of these things don't flow, you feel bad if you choose something else because you have attached yourself to this label. So if you say you're a good person and you say good people do blah, 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 blah. And they don't do blah, 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 blah. But then let's say you say good people do blah, 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 but you have a natural desire for it. Blah, 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 blah. What does that make you? You're going to be in the middle having a tug of war. So you're stressed out. You're feeling all over the place because now you have two things that's opposing you, pulling your energy apart, and then you choose nothing. And when you choose nothing, it makes you even more stressed out. It depresses you. You start to feel those anxious feelings and things of that nature because you have make no, you made no decision. But even though you have, because not to decide is to decide, but that's a whole nother video. So what is right and what is wrong? Mecca, am I supposed to eat meat? Am I supposed to just be vegan? Am I supposed to lift weights? Am I supposed to just run? Do, am I supposed to just swim? Is that what I do for my body? Do I supposed to have one boyfriend, three boyfriends, one wife, four wives? Guess what I'm gonna tell you? There's no right or wrong answer. You can do whatever you want. This is a free world. There are people who are in poly relationships and there are people who are monogamous. There are people who eat meat and there's people who eat uh, grass all day long vegetables all day long, plants, right? Guess what? Nobody is better than the other. It depends on what works for you within your journey. Take the pressure off of yourself. What works for you, right? Don't look at what everybody else doing. What is truly calling to your spirit and your heart and why? Why? Why do you want to do that? How I do, the, do make my decisions now is this. There's only two ways we can be. 
in a loving space, in a fearful space. I'm only reacting out of love or fear. It's my choice, right? And what are my, what are my intentions? When I say to myself, if I choose that, am I choosing that from a space of love or fear? Then once I decide if I'm going to choose it from a space of love or fear, of course, if I'm choosing it from fear, I don't want it. I'm going to say, you know, what's coming out of fear. That means I don't need to do it right? Because it's coming from a fearful space. And if it's coming from a fearful space, that means it's coming from a low vibrational space. That means I'm not trusting in myself. I'm not trusting in the divine. I'm not trusting that what I'm asking for is going to come to me. So that means I need to go back to the drawing table, back to the drawing board and fix my vibration and raise my frequency up so it can get from a low vibration to a higher vibration because I'm at a low frequency, right? So I will move my vibration to love. And then when I move my vibration to love, the decisions change. The choices I make change from that space. So then when I make choices from the space of love, whatever choice I make, then I say, well, this is the decision. Now I have the decision. I have these options. What are my intentions? My intentions is going to help me decide what it is I need to decide, the choice I need to make. You can never go wrong. There's no right or wrong way. Here's the truth. None of us know what we are doing. All the books are made by men, even the Bible. Don't argue with me about this. If you want to argue with me about this, Go talk to yourself because if you put it in the comments right now, I can just turn the comments off. That book, all books, my book, your book, his book, her book, King James book, Allah, Quran, all of it. It's written, it's written by man. But you know what? It's real. What you feel in your spirit, the downloads that you get, that can never be wrong. Your spirit, your soul, your intuition can never be wrong. Only you know what's right for you. So when you have something, you decide it. You have a natural uh, gratification towards something. And you don't know why. It's coming from God. That's even a label. It's coming from what created all of us. That created the trees. That created you. That created me. That created this land. That created the galaxies. That's where it's coming from. So if you feel in your heart one day that you want to eat vegetables because that's what you feel your body need, do it. If another day you feel like you want to eat meat, do it. If you feel like you wanted to have organic, do it. Do what you feel is right for you. Don't look at everybody. If you feel like you want to ask people for advice, do it. But whatever comes to you from a deep space, whatever you feel is a download, that's what your, what your true uh, guidance is, right? I'm only a messenger. I'm only a person that's giving you, oh, uh, this is where some of the food is at. I know where it's at because I just left it there. Or I just left from that space and I just gathered. I went to this field and I went to the field and I picked these particular vegetables from this field. So I'm telling you where the vegetables are in that field because I just came from there. It's up to you whether you want to go or not. And you know whether you want to go or not based on what your spirit is telling you, uh, uh, what it's hungering for. If your spirit is not hungering for that path, then don't go. It's no wrong or right thing. Humans label stuff. When you leave this planet, you leave everything behind with it. The labels and everything. There's no right or wrong way. It depends on what works for you right now. What is truly satisfying for you. The only thing I highly uh, recommend is that you do not hurt people consciously. You do not do anything in vain to yourself or others. You move like a God. Would you be in a relationship with the person and you'll be dealing with somebody else behind their back? And they don't know about it. Do you think that's godly? You know it's not. So you know that would be considered as wrong. That's not good doing. But if you are dealing with other people and the person you are dealing with and y'all on the same page and they can deal with other people or y'all have some agreement and it's all love and it's no fear, then how are you wrong? Live your life. Do what pleases you. You don't have to continue to make people try to understand you or try to be understood. You're going to die. I'm going to die right? At judgment day, you're not going to man to be judged. You're going to whatever created us. I hope this gave you some insight. I hope this video helped you and I hope you share this with somebody that you care about because we always say here at Mecca Mastery TV that sharing is caring, okay? That sharing is caring. If you need help, 
uh, along your journey. You don't know where to start. You want to talk to me, you can pick my brain. I have pick my brain sessions. You can click the link in the description box below, or you can just email me at meccabookings at gmail.com. Also, if you have any questions, just email me at meccabookings at gmail.com. And also, if you want to start your spiritual journey and you don't know where to start, highly recommend our 21-day healing plan. And if I, I, listen, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a wide range of food for your soul when it comes to like virtual programs and services. I have a seven day guided meditation program. I got manifestation ritual guides, things on health and nutrition. Check all of that out below through my website at MeccaFreeman.com. And if you're on social media, make sure you connect with me on social media if that's your thing. And as always, you my soul friend, you go out into the world, you kick a whole lot of action. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do anything because you can do whatever you put your mind to. I am sending my love, my peace, my gratitude, tranquility, and good-ass vibes your way. Until next time, i see you in the next episode with peace and love. Mm. See you in the next episode. Thank you.